All right, welcome to the last lesson, lesson six of our series on how to create Pong in Unity. For this lesson, we're going to be creating a main menu for our Pong game. Now, the easiest way to get started with your main menu is to resave your game scene as your main menu scene. This is done by going up to File, Save As, and then going to your Scenes folder and you can just type in main menu. But I already have my main menu scene created, and so I'm not going to overwrite it. Once you have your duplicate game scene resaved as your main menu scene, there's a few changes that we need to make to the scene. Most everything can stay the same except for the canvas and your playable objects. For your ball object, you'll want to remove the ball controller script. And for the two paddles, you want to remove the paddle controller script. This will make it so that these objects remain in the scene, but you can no longer control them. For your canvas object, you can remove your score one, score two, player one keys, and player two keys game objects. This will just leave you with your game over panel, and you can rename that to main panel. We then have our title object, which you can change the string value to just be Pong or whatever you want your game to be called. And then you can change the text of the button object to be play instead of main menu. And that should be everything that you need to do at this point in time for creating your main menu scene. Next, we need to create a script for controlling the main menu. So in your scripts folder, go to the create dropdown menu and select C sharp script. And then you can give it the name main menu controller or mm controller and then let's open it up in our coding environment inside the script the first thing that we need to do is add the scene management namespace up at the top so i have using unity engine dot scene management then inside our class we need to create a new function this is a public void function called play this will be the new function paired to the button on our panel inside this function we can add in scene manager dot load scene and then pass in a one. This will load us in from our main menu scene to our game scene. And the last thing that you might want to add is this if statement to your update function. In this if statement, we're looking for the player's input when they press the escape key. So I have if input dot get key down and then key code dot escape. And inside this if statement, we are then quitting our application because if they're on the main menu scene and they press the escape key, we don't have another scene for them to load. Instead, we would just exit the application. So I have application dot quit. Once you have this, you can then save this script and go back to Unity. Inside Unity, you can select your game controller game object and rename it to main menu controller. You'll then want to remove the game controller script and add on the main menu controller script. We then need to select the play button object and apply the play function to the onclick of this button. This is done by dragging in the main menu controller to the onclick and then using the drop down menu to select main menu controller and play. Now the last thing that we need to do is set up the build order for our game. So I'm going to go to file build settings. And in here, we want to add our main menu scene. You can then change the order of your scenes so that the main menu comes first. Once you've done that, we can now play through our project. So here we have our main menu scene. And when I click play, it loads us into our game scene. When I click the space bar, our ball starts moving. I can then move my paddle to bounce the ball back. The ball also bounces off of walls and interacts with the end zone, giving the opposite player a point. Once a player has reached the score to win value, our game over panel will appear, displaying which player has won the game. And when we click the main menu button, it loads us back to the main menu. And there you go, we have the basics of our local two player Pong game created. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and found it to be informational. If you have any questions, then leave them in the comments below. Now we do have a Unity package of this project available on our asset store, just in case you want to have our version of this game. And if you'd like to get it for free, you can sign up to become a member on our website. Now in the future, I plan to use this project to show you how to create a computer player, and as well to show you how to take your single player games and turn them into a networked multiplayer game. Now once again, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.